Hey, it's Danielle and I'm here with another process video. I'm actually going to be working on my title page for my second Project Life album and I'm going to be using cards that came in my September's Felicity Jane kit. Now the big bulk of these cards just came on a cut apart sheet in the kit, but these two cards, the one with the ampersand and the one with the days of the week, actually came from the Silhouette store. Uh, Felicity Jane has a bunch of cute uh, cut files in the Silhouette online store, so you should definitely uh, check those out. So there was a few of them that I knew I wanted to use. I absolutely love this red and pink together. It's one of my favorite color combinations. I also knew I wanted to use the card that says so happy together because it just fits so perfectly. Now this card that says one, two, three, it was um, a full three by four card, but I knew I wanted to do some writing on it and I didn't want to write on the green, especially the dark green. And so I just cut off the part of the card that I wanted to use and then I'm going to be attaching it to some white cardstock and that gives me a, a nice white canvas to write on. So this is what I think I'm going to do and so I'm just going to pull each of these cards out and work on them individually. So I'm using this Creative Memory Circle Cutter and I'm just cutting a white circle that's a little bit bigger than the circle on the card. I want to do um, some stamping and stuff on this, but I also, when I'm done, want to pop it up so it adds a little bit more dimension. Now I'm using this Hero Arts ink. I think it's called Mint Julep. I can check. Yes, Mint Julep. And I'm using the stamp that says We Are Family. Now I wanted to do some embossing on this as well just to give it a little extra uh, something. So I'm just taking some Hero Arts Clear Embossing Powder and then some Versamark. And I'm just going to take that exact same stamp and stamp directly over that spot. And then I will take that Clear Embossing Powder and just sprinkle that on top. And because it's clear, you're still going to be able to see the color of the ink that I used. Now you don't see it on camera, but I actually went through that whole process three times so that it was actually a little bit puffy. And I know you can't possibly see that in this video, but um, I just built up that those layers of embossing powder just to give it a little dimension. Now I'm taking this little puffy cat that came in the kit and I'm just putting that on the bottom of my circle. Um, I think the cat's super cute, but we have a cat in our family, so I figured that I could definitely use it. And now I'm using some of this scotch tape to, um, it's, it's foam tape, so it's going to pop this up just a little bit. I like how thin this tape is, especially for pocket pages. Um, you don't obviously want to add too much dimension or it won't fit in the pockets and this tape works perfectly. So the next card I'm going to be working on is the one that says so happy together and I want to use some more of these puff puffy stickers just to add some cohesiveness and so I'm taking the cute little cloud and the cute little heart and that is exactly how I'm going to do that one. Now I'm going to work on this numbered card and so I'm getting this strip of numbers adhered down and then I'm just going to take my pen and I think I write our names and then some lines and then I fill it in. But what I'm writing is just a few things that each of us are into right now. Um, they're just little things like my husband's working and golfing and I'm scrapbooking and YouTubing and I think for for London, I put she's organizing and uh, playing with her kitchen. Just a few things that um, we're each liking to do. Now the last card I'm going to do, um, that I think I'm going to do at least, is this ampersand card. I really, really like it. Uh, it's just a light pink and the ampersand is not perfect. And I think it just looks super cute. Um, but I don't know how I really want to embellish it. I, for a moment, think that maybe I'll put the year on here. Um, I think that the year is nice to put on the title page. And so I take some of these foam alphabet stickers that came in my kit and I try that, which I, it covers up too much of the ampersand. 
Uh, I do think it looks good on this So Happy Together card. I kind of wish I would have done that, but um, I decided not to. Um, and so then I think, well, maybe I'll just leave it playing. Uh, but then I had another idea. I, there's this card. It came from the Cut Apart uh, 3x4 cards. And I'm, it has some lines on it, but I don't, I don't want to use the lines. And so I just take a smaller scrap piece of white cardstock and just placed it on top of that card. So now it looks like a pretty pink border around my piece of cardstock. After that, I went to my computer and I just printed off this W so that I could use it as a pattern to cut from one of the other 3x4 cards that came in this kit. I had pulled out all of the cards that I hadn't used and I was just looking for a fun pattern to cut this W out of. I had it narrowed down between that small floral print and then the multicolored stripe. As you can see, I went with the multicolored stripe and I really like uh, how it looks with the other elements on this spread. Um, I think with the little puffy cat and the cloud and the heart, it just has kind of a fun, whimsical feel about this. And I think the stripes definitely go with that feeling. So I decided I wanted to um, just pop this W up as well. I'm not quite sure why I didn't use the foam tape, but I decided to go with these little foam squares which is a great choice. These are pretty thin as well and they work perfect in Project Life. I don't remember what brand they are because I got them from Hobby Lobby and I don't have the package anymore, anymore. Um, but they work great. So after I get that W down, I decide to take these little triangles and um, I got these from the, the sheet of puffy stickers and I'm just gonna use them to make a banner across the top of my card and then I call that done. Now at this point I have to decide what card I wanna use and I do stick with the W. I think it looks great with the rest of the cards and I'm just getting everything put down to make sure I like it. For the photos, I'm just using um, a single shot of each member of my family, including our stubborn little cat. He wasn't really cooperating for the picture very good, but that's okay, I don't expect anything less of him. And then I take two of the cards and I actually take them over to my sewing machine and put a bit of stitching on them as a, a finishing touch to this title page. And then I call this good. So I'm gonna put a link to the Felicity Jane blog down below. Uh, I'd encourage you to go over there and check this out. There's some more close-up photos and there's also a ton of other projects from the other design team members that have worked with this kit this month. Uh, thanks so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon.